hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel today i bring you a tutorial on how to make a corset dress with your ready-made bra cup so this is my pattern paper my fabric for the lower part of the dress is going to be a mermaid dress at the lower part so i'll be using this crepe fabric i'll need my ready-made bra cups i'll also need some boning okay for structure my zipper and this is the lace i'll be using for the upper part which is the corset area i also need some satin as under leaf for the net because you know the net is actually really transparent so you need some satin as under leaf so that it doesn't show the body i need my pattern maker my ruler my chalk my markers so i'll start with making a basic body so and i know that most of us already know how to do this so i'll mark from the shoulder to the half length plus two inches i want this corset to stop at two inches after her half length so i'll mark my chest line bust point and under bust all right so i'm going to take all those lines bust point under bust and chest line and i'll do them all out in a horizontal line okay what i'm taking are the vertical measurements measurements that run across the length of your body after marking those measurements i'll also draw horizontal line so i have my chest line bust point on the bust half length and two inches after my half length on the shoulder line i've marked out for the shoulder measurement and on the chest line i've marked quarter of the bust measurement plus two inches the same as the waistline quarter of the waist measurement plus two inches i've done my shoulder slope my neck width i'm drafting my armhole i'm sure we already know how to make a basic bodies right so now, now that that is out of the way this is my basic bodies so i'm going to structure this into a corset using my ready-made bra cups so for your bra cups whatever your bust size is you're going to use a bra cup that is two inches bigger than your bra size so if your bust 36 you should use bra cup of 38 right so from the center front i'm marking half inch from the bust point down to the length of my corset right so you just mark it mark that you can also draft it upwards to the chest line right so you're going to get your um, already made bra cups look at what it looks like so you place it starting from the under bust you're going to make sure that the tip of the bra cup touches that half inch line that you made initially okay and the base of the bra cup rests on your under bust now there's something i like to do if my under bust is 15 inches i like to mark 14 and a half okay because you need the corset to lift your bust okay to, to create that lift that you'd get right so that your your bust is not like flabby or i, I don't know the right word to use but yes i always um take out half inch from my under bust when i'm making a corset just to make the uh, boob area firm and it won't be dropping right so that's what i like to do so what i'll do is to place the bra cup let the base of the bra cup touch the under bust and the tip of the bra cup to touch the half inch line we made and i'll just draw uh, the shape of my bra cup right so i've taken it out this is what the shape looks like okay so i'll be connecting you either connect straight like this but i like to take it to the chest line so that um it ends at the armhole right so that it maybe gives it some balance and not uh, the corset moving down from her bust because the armhole area is now at the bust point so that's why i like to take it out to the armhole right so if i measure the allowance i have on the corset at the base you can see there is a dip there and it's half inch so that will be the allowance i'll be needing to attach this bra cup to my corset so what i'll do is to go and mark half inch round the cup that i've already made a seam allowance so you can see if i measure the bra cup i have half inch before the deepness of the cup right so that means i will need half inch seam allowance so attach this cup to the corset pattern that i'm making so i'm adding half inch round the cup as seam allowance okay i've already said this before but just making it clear so that we know what we are doing right so take it till you get to where the bra cup stops and you're going to connect it back to have your circle right so you can actually leave your um armhole line to stop at where it is you can also stretch it stretch it to the chest line that is entirely your choice okay so when i'm done doing this 
I'll make sure that all of this align, right? So after adding this seam allowance, okay, this upper part becomes your yoke, okay? You can just cut it out. It is your yoke. That's why I actually drafted the basic bodies. If not, I'll just start taking my measurements from the underbust. But because we, you might want to use a yoke, that's why I taught us how to make the basic body so that the upper part can serve as your yoke. Now, because I'll be needing half inch seam allowance I, to use my lining to turn the main fabric i'm going to extend uh, up by half inch like on the two sides okay on the center front and on the side front just half inch i'll connect this side back to the armhole then i've already done the other side connect go up by half inch and take it back to its original point so this is what i've done here and i'm actually done drafting um, my corset for the front so i'll just go ahead and cut this out this is actually one of the easiest methods i know on how to make a corset using your already made bra cups it's as easy as what we've just done here in five minutes you're done drafting your corset pattern so like i said if you want a yoke you're just going to cut out this part and it will serve as your yoke so you can use your nude neck your skin tone net or um your lace whatever you want as your um yoke but for the corset dress i am making i, I don't need a yoke it doesn't require a yoke for what i'm making so wouldn't be attaching a yoke now i'll get another pattern paper for us to draft the back of this corset so i've gotten a plain pattern paper and i'll just place um the already cut out front that's before cutting out my cup right so you know we need a um, zip allowance of two inches at the center back so you can do two inches one inch 1.5 whatever suits your preference for well, me i'm doing two inches zip allowance so i'm marking two inches zip allowance at on this pattern i'll connect it to a straight line then afterwards i'm going to get my front pattern and place it directly on the back pattern starting from where i have my two inches zip allowance okay so the back is really easy there is no drama at the back just place the front on it starting from your zip allowance and you're going to trace out the shape you have i'm not cutting it out now because i want to make a little adjustment to the back just so that it doesn't um gape or give me bulge at the zipper area so i would go up by one inch okay at the zipper area okay then i'll connect or slant it to the side seam okay so when i do this it's going to reduce the zip allowance at the back okay the vertical zip allowance at the back or and at by so doing is going to make uh, the back so flat and you wouldn't have bulge or um, at the back so what i'll do would also to mark half of my bust span measurement that's if you want to have a dart at the back so i'll take a dart of half inch on both sides the bust span is nipple to nipple measurement from one point of the nipple to the other so you connect that upwards to upwards there and you also connect like so remember half inch that allowance so because of this that you need to replace the that so i'll add back one inch to my waistline and connect it right to the bust um, area okay so this is the only modification you need for the back and i don't want to have a dart at the back because i'll be using boning so i'll just use my stitches to create channels for the boning at the back so i wouldn't be needing uh, that but if you want to attach that to yours you can feel free to do what i have done here this is just for illustration purposes so when i'm cutting my back i'm going to take out the dart area because i do not want to use a dart i'll be using boning to create create structure for this corset so what i'm doing next is to notch my zip allowance and also notch my dart allowance if i'm going to be attaching in that you can also decide to cut out your dart okay so you know that what we're working on is the back pattern so just labeling it so you can also decide to cut out your dart but when when you do that it means that on your fabric you're going to be adding half inch to this side and half inch to this side as seam allowance to attach the dart that you've already cut out so back to the front now that we're done doing the back we're just going to cut out the cup shape okay just following the same allowance that we give i'm going to cut round this pattern and automatically we have our pattern for the front okay so when i cut out i'll just go and place this on my lace fabric and cut it out also cut it on my um, satin and 
also use the same pattern as lining so i'm going to be cutting out three pieces of this front pattern one is for the lace the other one is for the satin the underlay for the satin and i'll also be using cutting another one as my lining the only thing is that i'll be using the satin as lining so you can also go ahead to use your normal lining to cut that okay but i like to use my satin as lining as well so you can see what i have done i've transferred the pattern to the lace that's the first one the satin okay and the lining which is also the satin so for the back i've done the same thing cut the lace the satin and the lining which is also the satin like i said i'm using the satin as lining i'm using that's underlay and as lining all right so i've notched my um zip allowance and my that area so uh, this is what i'll be using to cover the bra cups i've made um a tutorial on how to use your fabric to cover your bra cups okay so when i get this please try to watch that video so you learn how to use your fabric to cover your bra cups so just so that this video doesn't get long too long i have skipped that but i've posted a video already on how to make your bra cups so i'll be this is my lace and also my satin for making my bra cups all right so after cutting this i'll just go ahead and cover my bra cup and i'll be attaching it to the corset so this is the satin remember i've also shown us the lace so i have two four pieces for the lace four pieces for the satin and I'll also be needing four pieces for the lining which i'll also be using the satin to cut right so after doing all of this i'll go and wrap up my bra cup with my fabric right so i'm done doing that and please i'll be dropping the link to the video on how to use your fabric to wrap your bra cup in this in the description box so make sure you watch that now i've um attached my bias i just got a cotton bias okay and just placed it on where i want to place it just on this four sides the center front and two sides close to the cup area that's what i've just done just get your cotton bias the normal bias that we sell in the market just get a, your bias tape place it at where you want just any style line that you want just place it there you can see the structure or the you can see the picture of what i'm trying to achieve right so that's what i just just place your bias tape on the lines you want and stitch on both sides to, to hold it down then i'll then go and attach my bra cups to this so you can see i've already wrapped my bra cups so before i do this i'm going to cover or turn with my lining so this is my lining i'll place it right sides facing the right sides of the lace and i'm just going to go and turn the upper part with half inch turn this middle part with half inch and also turn the sides with half inch right so that's why i give allowance when we are drafting the pattern okay so i'll just go do that and come back and show you what we have so i'm done turning everywhere okay the upper part the middle panel and the sides and this is what we have okay so i'll then go and sew in, in my bra cups using half inch seam allowance so i'll just place it like so and take it all the way around i'll do the same to the other bra cup and i'll come back and show us what we have right so uh, you're watching till now please don't forget to subscribe turn on your post notifications so that each time i upload a new video you'll be notified also share this video with your friends and people that are interested in learning how to sew right so after attaching the bra cups to the corset we're going to have some similar ones and we need to trim it down to reduce bulkiness at um where you've attached the cup and so that it's going to lay really flat so what i'll do will be to first go and notch it all around making sure that i don't cut through my seam line but making sure that i have notched so that it's going to relax you're not going to see any strains on your um fabric so that's why you need to notch notch very close to your seam line but not enough to cut through your seam and then after notching we're going to reduce the seam allowance that you use to join the the bra cup to the corset so that you can use your bias tape to cover it up 
you can see so i'll go and trim off the excess then afterwards you can use your bias tape to you know cover it up then afterwards you can introduce your boning so i'm using a plastic boning so you just go and fix it into the channels that you made using your bias tape right so that's what i've just that's what i'm going to be doing so what you do will be to pull your um boning into the brack into the um casing that you've made then um just pull it in so i'll show you what to do to the back this is the back okay i've used um i've attached the lace to the satin which is the underlay okay so i used hemming gum to do this just you place hemming gum on the satin then you place the lace on it use your steam iron but not press it like don't press it directly on the fabric so that it doesn't burn your fabric you can place a plain material on it then you iron so that the lace would adhere to the satin right so i've used this is the lining so i'm pressing the running lining right side switching each other and i'll go and stitch it all round stitch through the zip allowance the upper part and by the side seam okay so leaving only the half length right so you want to get a clean finishing so through the zip allowance the upper part and the side seam you go and notch it all around use your hemming gum inside it pull it all out and iron so that everything lays really really flat all right so i'm um, back to the upper to the front pattern i've used my bias tip okay to knitting the inside okay so you don't see the joining where i attached the bra up to the lace okay so this is what it looks like i've not ironed so again to iron so that all these wrinkles and rigors would leave your dress or your corset so it's time to introduce the boning so what you do will be to measure from underneath the bra up to your half length they're going to take out half inch from it because you do not want your boning to get into your seam allowance so i've just subtracted half inch from what i've measured then i'll cut out my boning then afterwards you're going to shape in the tip of your boning just make nice slight um, notches at the side of your boning like you can see me do okay just cut through the tip by the side then what i'll do take it will be to take it to the wall okay and scrape it on the wall so that the edges are blood okay so it's not sharp and it wouldn't be poking you and causing discomfort and um even bruising your body so you can see placing it on my body it's not sharp anymore so i would then put it into the casing that i made using my bias tape so i didn't um add some allowances um to create channels for my boning i only just place my bias tape on it and stitch it down so i'll just go and attach fixing my boning all round right so i'm done attaching or fixing my boning and it has given structure to um my corset so now to the back what i just did at the zip i did that allowance that's why i notched that allowance remember i told you i'll trim off the that because i don't want that i just ran the straight stitch two straight stitches which is half inch apart then put my boning inside so that's how i created channel for the boning at the back so when i'm done i'm just going to place it right sides facing right sides and i'll go and take in my side seam allowance so remember um my side seam allowance was two inches but we've used half inch to do our our in finishing or clean finishing so i'm just going to take two inches by this one and a half inches by the side so what you can also do is to take your body measurements at the back okay so you're going to mark what out of the bust measurement sorry half of the bust measurement then measure what you have left whatever you have divide that value into two and mark it on both sides of your corset the next thing on the half length you're going to measure from one side you're going to measure half of your waist measurement so if your waist is 20 you're going to measure 10 if your waist is 42 you're going to measure 21 okay so you're going to divide your waist into two, the same as the bust so whatever value you get you're going to measure starting from one side 
okay so let's assume the bust the weight of working with is 36 that is divided by 2 that will be 18 so you're going to place the tape like this make a mark at 18 then you're going to measure what you have left from that point whatever you have divide that by 2 and spread it or share it on both sides of the dress so that's exactly what i've done i've marked on this side and i'm marking on the other side so you're going to connect from the bust to the waist like so you go and stitch it down all right so after doing this i'll go and attach it to the lower part which is my mermaid all right so i've attached the lower part the lower part is a mermaid skirt with tail behind right so i have a tutorial on my channel on how to make an off shoulder dress an off shoulder mermaid dress and it also has tail behind so i'll drop the link to that video in the description box so you can see i've attached my zipper just once you're done with the corset attach your lower bodies okay so you can see mine has a tail it's very long and it flows really well then i also use these accessories to beautify the upper part of my corset and also to conceal um the bust okay so that the bust doesn't show too much right so that's what that accessory is for is to beautify the dress and also at the same time to cover up the bust a little bit now i made an off shoulder sleeve and i attached it okay so you can see the sleeve is not part of the dress i just stitched it to the side and that is how you get your so you can see my boning channels my bonings are inside and this fits so perfectly and it came out really 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 beautiful so you can see i hope you love this tutorial please if you have any questions i'm right there in the comment section to answer to all your questions and please consider subscribing to my channel if you like what we are doing here share this video with your friends and family like it so that we get more views for this particular video i love you till i come your way next time bye